All right, fifth grade, it's time to finish our color wheel. If you have not finished your colors, please pause the video here, and then you can read all my colors that are on the color wheel, okay? Remember, the order matters. Your grade depends on if you've got the right order. So if you made a mistake, you didn't put orange in the right spot, let it dry, and then redo your orange. Go on to the other colors, keep working, go back and fix them all. Make sure you have all your drips at the bottom. I wanna see all drips from one from every color, or you could do multiple, but there should be at least one from every color. But let's say all my drips are here and they stop here, that I wanna add some drips to make it look even, you can do that. You could add any primary, any secondary, and any tertiary colors. You have your mixing bowl, you have your paint to make more colors. Now, once you get to this point, you could decide, like let's say I made a lot of mistakes and I see that there's color in other places. Along with the drips, you could also add like splatters. Now, we are not shaking our paintbrush. We are using small paintbrushes. We are not splattering this all over people. If you're going to start dripping paint on it and splatting it that way, please warn people around you. Think about wearing a smock because we don't want to get this paint on people's clothes. We are not shaking our brush. We are dripping it down, straight down, so it goes on our paper. So, I'll just show you with the primary color. So, if you want to take blue, okay, and you want to make some more blotches, splotches, you want to put some red, okay, you can do that if you only want to use the primary. But if you want, let's say I really like purple, maybe I want to make some purple. Do you see how I'm going straight down? It's still splattering but I don't have to whip it like a, a wand, okay? All right, you can put it anywhere you want. You can also, let me pause it real quick. You could also take a paper towel too and blot it so then your splats go a little bit bigger. And then it'll dry faster too. All right, you can put as much as you want. Now, the last step, if you decide to do that, you wanna do that first, finish all your colors, Finish all your drips, and then the last part is to outline it. Okay, you're gonna take your Sharpie and you're gonna carefully go around your circle. Now, you guys worked really hard on this, so I want you to really take your time. If you make it too thick, you can go thinner. If you don't like the thick Sharpie, you could also use this thin Sharpie. I don't care which one you use, but I want you to go over your color reel. Every part of it, including these lines, and the outside. All right, make sure your paint is dry before you do that. All right, and that's it to our color reel, color explosion, splatter paint drip, color reel. I hope you enjoyed doing it as much as I did. Bye guys.